Who's Sadly. here? Hmm? Uh, a lot of people are here. I can not do it. I mean, it's a bit larger. Okay. We're doing something else epic today, guys. Oh, there's an update? Mm hmm. The nerves are here. The nerves? Mm -hmm. What are they nerfing? Warlock. Uh, no. Mm hmm. Please, no. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if the if, if it's already nerfed, but yeah. do you know what they're nerfing? I didn't read the notes. Uh just some bugs. That's not my sister, no. <laughs> Where did I loot her? Yeah, it was a very rare drop. Yeah. Gotta grind and get lucky. You grinded. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Am I best in slot? Yes, certainly. I'm best in slot. Yeah. After a bit of crafting and stuff. Can I have an IAA? Well, that's, uh, that's 10,000 points. Uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Good. And chat? No, I don't have under one million board. Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, look here, we got another one. You know you do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Twenty five thousand, by the way. I gave you a discount. Oh, well, I usually give the points back to people for I yeah yeah and wink. I know. How do you know? Yeah, that's what you do. Because they keep coming back for more. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, sus. Hello, Brian. Hello, Katze. Hi, Katy. <laughs> Hi, pop, yeah. pop music is here, too. Hi, Pop. <laughs> We're leveling Warlock today. Woody was not forced at all to level a Warlock, trust me. Mm -hmm. I have so many nice characters. Yeah, but you don't have a Warlock. And yeah, now I played a freshly nerfed Warlock. Mm. Nice helmet, by the way. What's that? It's a crab helm or something. Yeah. Mikuna helm or something. Yeah. Okay. The problem is what you change in the in the inventory, the the mugs, they don't appear here for some reason. Woody lock. Mm. I like the sound of that. Woodlock? Sounds like Woodstock. Woodlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the Woodlock. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More like my main. Mm -hmm. What are you playing, brother? You want to play a bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's hardcore, don't I? You play. <laughs> well, it's mm -hmm. another one zone. Can't be that hard. Oh, can't reach very well. Is this even allowed here? Okay, this is a uh, Nini stream now, guys. No, she didn't cut my hair. I went to the the barber the other day. What? They ask if you if you colored your hair. Never had a haircut. Oh. What's different about lock? Uh, I'm not sure if the patch today was actually that patch. I just thought it was patch download and I know that I wanted to do some bug fixes. There was like some warlock passive that was bugged or something. And also something else, I believe. I think warlock and something else. Are you comfy? Yeah, that's fine. Guide her into the cave. You wanna go to the cave? Oh, the cave. <laughs> Uh, the, the secret cave. The secret item. What secret item? Yeah, okay. I'll show you. In this cave here. There's a cave here? There's a hidden... There's a hidden room. What? Yes. yes. I've played all these times <coughs> and I never <coughs> found a cave. No, it's here. In the first zone. In this cave. Here is a cave. You are... You are in the cave. What do you mean? Oh, okay. If you say so. <laughs> I just see fancy colors. Mm 
I didn't see it as well. What do you mean? This is a cave. It's obvious. I'm just proceeding killing monsters usually. Ah. I don't see my surroundings very much. Hmm. Okay, every time Nini plays, she's in that berserk mode. Yeah, and I usually click everything fast and don't pay attention. Okay. We killed everything and leveled up, yay! Mm -hmm. <coughs> and now, ah, here. wait. Somewhere in this cave. I think it might be here. Try to hit the wall. First, I need to raise my skellies. Where? Here? I don't know. Somewhere in this cave. And what happens? It's not a very big cave, so we'll find it. Tell me more. Yeah, start hitting stuff. Here, maybe. Ah, look, you did it. Ah! Magic! Yes. What? Is a big are, we, are we going to find a treasure? Mm hmm. A great treasure. On to hear my, my skellies. Yeah. Skellies look bored today. Okay, there's another wall, I think. Oh! <clears throat> huh. How did you find out? I just know things. Hmm. I look, we got so many items here. Mm -hmm. Now we're living, I guess. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. That was nice. But, but it's a good start. This, you know, like extra loot, basically. Mm hmm. Well, we do have access to your other uh, drink. I don't know things. Characters there. inventory, no. Uh, the, yeah, the stash is. Is there. this offline or online? It's offline. Ah. I drink and I know things. <laughs> Woody Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> People always ask me if this is vodka. Of mm. course. Don't die. Be careful. Why? Yeah, it's hardcore. Has my health even dropped at all all this time? I can't see because of the mic, actually. I'll put it down a little bit. I, yeah. I would feel it, I think. <clears throat> see? Mm -hmm. By the way, do we have maximum skeletons here? Two? No. Hello, Gozo. How's it going? Oh, these guys are hurting. Yeah. So do my skellies. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. So just asking Nini D4 greater than LE. Oh my god, with the comparisons. POE. <laughs> I mean. Well, you're the streamer now, so you have to yeah. enjoy the questions. It's not my job now. <laughs> Hello, Sakari. What build am I gonna play? No, no, we'll figure it out. Grimdown, yes. Finally, some culture. <clears throat> oh, we need to level up, by the way. With some points. Or should I leave that for you? Ah, it's fine. It's not much to take right By now. By the way, if anyone from uh, Last Epoch devs are watched, please don't ban Woody for allowing me to play with his character. <laughs> mm. Hi, Crucible. Some LE. Let's see what that is all about. Yeah, No one has seen some Last Epoch before. Not in the last two weeks, not in the last five years. <laughs> doing very well. Thank you. I haven't even used the potion all this time. See how good I am? Yeah. You're already in the second zone. And level 4. And without skill points. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Why did that hurt? Uh-oh. You got a dodge. I thought I was. I was too smug. I got punished. 
Yeah. And yeah, the boss fight scene. I learned from the best. What? It's Magnus. From whom? <laughs> spacebar dodge. And where's the spacebar dodge? Yeah. Did you miss it too? Yeah. Hmm. Is he far greater than LE then? If we could take the best of all the worlds and make the best game, that would be awesome. Mm. Mm. The best game would be awesome. Okay, here we go. Okay, should we level up before? Never mind. Oh. Oh, my skellies are doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. Go skellies, but we need another one. The stats on the boots are OP. That is why we took them from uh, from the cave. And POE taught us to go in circles. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, I mean, I was uh, writing in Greek as well as Kalispera Hechtarades. What's that? What's We're that safe. We're home. What? Hello. Kalispera Pechtarades. Oh, uh, great gamers. Ah. <laughs> it's like uh, Zoara, Big Life, Big Gamers. Mm -hmm. Big Life. Okay. Minions that do something, Epog. Yes. Will I ever dye my hair? Oh, unlikely. Yeah, let's take this for now. It kind of dies naturally mm. over time as you age. Amalgamation of LE, PoE, and before the ultimate ARVG experience. What about yeah, Grim just, Dawn? Just, just wait like a decade or so until we have AIs that create game source. And then we tell them, okay, I want D4, LE, and PoE combined. And Grim Dawn. It has Take a all really the best nice features. element. Yeah. Where are we picking? Circle of Fortune? Yes. Excuse me? This is in every dialogue, by the way. Excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, just being a very, uh, you know, gentleman, basically. Mm, yeah. Hmm. We've gone too far. Oh, it was a 300,000 favor. Apparently it carried over. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, it does. Ton Woody Keta Matiasu. Watch, watch Woody as you would watch your eyes. It's something like that. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? Why are you changing this? Because this was white, what do you mean? No. You changed them. Yes. This was our boots here. Why don't you keep those? Uh, Look, there's so, oh. there so many stats. Yeah. Yeah, true. I thought they were white. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not about this. No. No, I also play with stuff. I never change to the Maxwell setup. Yeah. So I think stuff is best for Warlock. Maybe that's just me. Mm. Okay. No, I keep All going. Now. No. Uh, what do you want me to play more? I want to see the next boss. But Chad wants to see you, not me. No, it's fine. Yeah. Let's go. She's not even reading. No, I don't wear my glasses right now, and I actually have trouble reading stuff. I can read for you. Mm. Say one of the best features of the three ARPGs. Of the what? The best feature of each of the ARPGs. <clears throat> mm. well, the best feature of D4 is Gauntlet. That's easy. D4 <laughs> is Gauntlet, really? No. Well... <laughs> I like the open world of D4 a lot. Um, I like the graphics a lot. I like the world boss and the whispers. I know that other people don't, but I do like them. Uh, in general, I like that it gives you stuff to do all the time. Wherever you are in the world, you always find something to do. Um, yeah, and that's about it. What I like I, in... I keep going. 
what I like in last book is obviously the crafting system and uh, the variety it offers you when it comes to build um, yeah I think that's it here too yeah what about PoE? Best uh, feature. Ah, I also like. Well, careful. I was, yeah, I was pressing the wrong button, and I also don't have my skellies. Where are my skellies? Yeah, for some of them. Okay, you play because I'm dangerous now. No. No. Yeah, it's fun I to don't want to die. <laughs> Just because you adopted no life, you got this. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's have some skellies. What was I saying? You were talking about PoE, the best features. Yeah, also the, I think, campaign acts scenario in general. D4 is better by far, and people forget to mention it very often. I mean, I, last book is okay. Uh, PoE, I actually hate it. And the fact that I'm forced to play it every time, it makes it the worst experience for me. Otherwise, PoE is my favorite game. Okay. I think we assign skill now. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Well, three blood is an obvious choice because we're going for warlock. Is that like a big warlock thing? Yeah, usually it is. Well, what about the skellies? You can. Huh? I thought your minion enjoyer. Uh, never tried it. Okay, you choose. Okay. You're gonna suffer the most, so. What do you mean? Okay, that sounds good. Uh, yeah. PoE offers way more versatility in every than every other game when it comes to to builds. Um, I like how complicated it is. It's very rewarding when you put the effort to it, and I like that. But I understand it's not for everyone. Oh, we have this now, the marrow shard. Looks a bit like corpse lands, marrow shards. Hmm? Marrow shards looks a bit like corpse lands. Am I using it? Yes. But... Yeah, the four campaign is amazing. I still wanted to make like a slow campaign playthrough with like all the cutscenes. I haven't done that yet. Still. <laughs> but I wanted to do that. Maybe I'll do it now in the downtime before season four. Not really that much in the mood to like try out a lot of new builds now and stuff in the PTRs around the corner anyway. Nini, huge takes by the way. <laughs> Are you taking? Hmm. Patience. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Big amulet? Yeah. <laughs> well, the stash tab joke will come for D4. Yeah, the stash tab is definitely the best feature in D4. Ah, uh, yes. And I would well, say... In PA you have to buy, so I guess that makes Last Epoch the winner here, when it comes to the stash. Yeah, Last Epoch is definitely a winner. On the other hand, I Grim mean, down okay, also. PoE has like you know specialized tabs and the uh, what is it uh, affinities and stuff. So I guess PoE is the winner if it if it is count the the payment. So the stash tabs are definitely better in, in PoE, I'd say. Why my scale is keep dying, Woody? I don't know. Mm. Is it not normal? No. No. They were not dying when I was playing. Hmm. Oh, he died again. What the fuck? Maybe he need better gear. Yeah. Poor skellies. What is chat saying? I can't read. And he just reads passion of the day. Stash ups cost six of them. That's gold. Ah. Oh. I yeah, right because they nerfed the uh, the gold farm, and the the key is it's kind of crazy actually, but they nerfed it so much. Too many stash shots makes you hold too much trash. Yeah, it's definitely true. Like, sometimes people come to my chat and they say, Oh man, 
I just reached Maldives. I have four staff chefs full of stuff. Yeah, what am I going to do now? <laughs> and I just tell them, yeah, just throw everything in the trash. <laughs> like, it's a it's a phase. You need to do pass, I think, when you are new to a game. You need to, to hoard and and put trash in the stuff until you learn the game and know what to keep or not. But yeah. you have to study the items. The thing is, I don't believe that a lot of people ever get there to kind of understand what is, like, you know, the stuff they should throw away. It depends how much time you will invest in the game. Yeah, probably. But you know, there's like these people that just download the filter and then the filter shows in something, and they're like, oh, yeah, the, I have this filter, and this appears, so let's take it. Even though you still have to, like, you know, look at the item. Yeah, well... Personally, I don't put a filter until I finish the axe in Path of Exile. What? Yes. How do you even live? No, because I... I take I, I take everything from the floor. <laughs> and when my inventory is full, I empty it. When I'm in town. And this is how I usually start with uh, currency early game. Mm-hmm. I mean, I pick up yellow items, not the white ones. Yeah, picking up, pick up yellow items, of course, but you should still have a filter. And I could, why do you want to have the white items on the filter? Uh, I mean, you have to filter anyway. You don't want it before the season starts. I no? guess my... Oh. Careful. My items filter anyway, so <laughs> white ones, what can I say? Hmm. You just filter it with your eyes. Well, things are dangerous now, Woody. We want to take over and also check what we found so far. Yeah, I kept track of it. It's fine. Let's do the boss and then I will uh, play. Mm. Mad skills. Better look out, DJ. Replacement at the keyboard. Yes. Hehehe. <laughs> Chat is motivating you. You got this. Kick some ass. Thank you, Kaido. Thank you, Chat. <laughs> it's worth saving other class legendaries in last epoch while leveling. Yeah, if you want to level another class, sure. Or if you want to sell it, maybe on a merchant skills. Oh, it's really old. I'm going to start cooking now. Hmm? Uh, do you want me to cook while you stream? Yeah, and bring me food. Yes. That would be a nice change. I have some sweets. Can can bring some sweets. And it's badass. In it's plural. Paris. What? In plural. Yeah, we say that. Really? Yeah, as Good. we we say, calimeres, calisperes. Mornings, evenings. This is offline, yeah. I mean, there's no reason to play online if you're going for Circle of Fortune, so... I only did it at the start for the race, and was it. Okay, here, Storyox. Finally, someone to teach Woody. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm watching and learning, guys. I'm gonna die like a noob here, I know it. No. Just don't stand in the fire. Yeah. And run. I'm running. Yeah, and, and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, shoot. Uh -oh. Yes, I'm running out of potions now. Yeah. Uh, just dodge. It's fine. Potion. <laughs> you got one. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so gonna die. And no. everyone will say I'm a noob. <laughs> no, you're not a noob. Yes, I am. You're playing on hardcore. Go, Skellies! Go! <laughs> well, better pass a potion. Go, Spirits! Uh-oh. Mm. Best build right now. No, we're playing it right now. Mm. Warlocks. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. 
Ja, almost. Hij is. Dit Het was very close. Ja. Yeah. But he did it. I can finally breathe. <laughs> okay, all of yours now. Uh, you like playing on hardcore? Yes. Mm. Like on level of character? Is this not when I'm playing like this? Let's see what kind of gear we got here. I know we got some new boots. Don't wanna, forget your, you your wanna, skill. You want to change the boots? Okay. No. No? Ah, they give us stones rating. Enormous, yes. The new ones? Yeah. Yeah, so I use those. And more speed. We could use some more speed. You saw how slow I am. Oh, they also give us speed per level here on the left. The what? They give us speed per character level. Yeah. Don't forget so that. So that's a total of how much now? Five? Yeah. yeah. Great. Hmm. Okay. What about the stats? Change the boots. Okay. Alright, what about the axe? No, you keep playing with stuff. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Alright, we did it. Thank you. EHG, please don't ban me for account sharing. <laughs> what? Please don't ban me for account sharing. Do we have a skill point? Yes, we do. I have no idea if I want to keep her blood anyway. <laughs> I have to look at his skills a bit. Yeah? Mm hmm. And what would you put? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know about his skills. I only played one Lich like three years ago. Well, for, for now, I think you should go with her blood. Um. Kind of nice. Yes. Okay. Mm. Is my job done? Yes. No. Now it is. Mm. Thank you. All right, guys. That was Nini. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the shout out. Yeah. Let's give her a shout out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Giga Nini. Mm. <laughs> yeah, glad we sorted out that loot here as well. Give her a smooth and let's get going. Alright. Okay. Chat sent me away. So <laughs> goodbye. See you in chat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, she said. <laughs> Alright, we live, guys. Most close. Let's throw this. <laughs> Sending the Freddy Krueger vibes. Yes, exactly. Sometimes you have to unleash your inner, inner Freddy, you know? Alright, we need to we need to do something. So... Early game rares. I was. I guess you're gonna just like. duplicate this. Warlock. I have no idea what kind of stats I want. I guess like spell damage and stuff. So 
150, uh, 5 to 100. Early game rares. So what do you want? I guess you want int. I guess you don't want any melee. I guess you want this and this and this and this. Now what do we do on Necrotic, I guess? What else do we have here? Void, I guess? Does, does Acolyte have Void damage? I guess they do. And Physical, maybe? And f maybe Fire? Crit, crit. I don't know the about damage for time. Okay, okay. Guess we don't go for endurance very much right now. Or armor. <laughs> nah, I don't think you care about minions. Okay, what else do we have here? Apply damned on hit. Wait, that's damned on the on this class. Okay, it's kinda sick actually. I have to revisit this, I guess, later. Okay. Let's just disable all this other stuff. We can... Good fix these later. That's a lot of rules, man. I don't think I'm gonna go for this low life stuff here anyway. Okay, we should probably check the idol thing. So. Health, armor. I guess water retention might be useful. Chance to apply dent on hits. That sounds nuts, actually. Getting dent. Just like that. Armor granted by bone armor. Physical spell crits. This is a poison, actually. Maybe we can do something like. I mean, it's Poison Nova skill. I have no idea what I'm gonna do actually with this. Increase cooldown recovery speed of transplants. Okay. Okay, hides. I guess you want to see scepters and ones. And stuffs. And catalysts. Show early game rares. We did that. Hide set, show unique. Okay, it should be fine. 
Let's uh, un un uncheck this. Let me keep going from here. Okay. Only good good thing about Rogue dying at level 100 yesterday is now we have a little 83 barb. <laughs> nice. Yeah, when do we get transplant level 9? Oh, the game is so easy with my new boots, man. That was a huge upgrade. The GF plays Hogwarts Legacy. Seems like a nice game, though. It was pretty successful, right? Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, what the hell am I doing here? The Cardigress. Oof. Damage. Dude, that's 20 flat armor. How much does it do at this level? Quite a lot. 75 rules. Now, 75 is the maximum. But this filter has... 57. Yeah, I made up myself. I wouldn't really trust automatic filters if you ask me. I heard there's a thing, but I don't really trust it. <laughs> so. Something was fishy? What do you mean something was fishy? So that's free item from the chest, uh, from the cave. Why do any and all guys refer to flat this, flat that, but no one defines what it actually means? <laughs> uh, fl okay, I guess it's just like a generic term in, in games, you know, flat damage. That means it's like an absolute number and not a percent number. Like, you know, like for your weapon, for example, your weapon says, uh, you know, plus 16 melee damage, plus 4 spell damage. So these are flat numbers. Nah, yeah, maybe you don't wanna hide blue unless that early. Say from level 10. For some reason, they still don't show. What? Why not? How come they don't show? This one. Okay. Yeah, silver ring, for example. Huge. I hit once and scepter. I don't think so. Oh, wait, I think I mistake there. Okay. We have the staff. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I think I opened it, but I didn't actually change it. Dude, all this stuff is awful. Okay, what do I got here? Calls for 500 souls at seeing other enemies. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ma, how's it going? I have a boba tea on me or whatever. <laughs> Yo, thanks, man. Hi, Andreas. Thank you. These running spaces do a lot of damage, man. What the fuck? 
Why is so strong? Okay, what do we have here? Convert to necrotic. That doesn't mean to help us. And where's that blood spiller coming from? Like the skill says nothing about blood splatter. The fuck? Hundred percent chance. This is kind of nice. You know, to get mana. Fish was in many buff, yeah. I don't think I can go much for minions though. Automatically recast on kill. Oh, I need to have like a very, very strong with blood, I guess. That's why this bladder. Got a bit of AoE in there. Why am I using any LP items on new alts? Ah, uh, why would I? It's just gonna distort your experience with uh, leveling in the campaign. Parker Johnson. Can I shotgun with these uh, skulls here? Kind of looks like it. Thank cross me. I guess they don't care about many damage at all, right? Hello. Uh, for now, yes. Whatever. Uh, we'll see. How does this work, this Wandering Spirits? It looks like it's a weird skill. If you have Wandering Spirits around you for 6 seconds. More Spirits are revealed immediately after casting and 70 more are revealed over the next 6 seconds. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Kind of funny skill. <laughs> but weird. Yeah, I have to get back to town to buy movement speed rings. I have one already though. Silver ring. I've not played a Void Knight yet though. But the concept is really cool. I like the Void Knight like theme. Definitely wanna try one. Also, I try to make like a Javasan style, I guess, Forge Guard. Or I don't know what that would be. But there's like some cool uniques for the Javasan stuff that I want to try. Ward gain in nearby death 13. That's a lot of ward actually. Or early game. I mean, I can get 10 points in there. Oh, wait, 10% chance. Okay, never mind. That seems awful. This is a good dawn. 8% more detention, 4 necrotic, 4 poison rest per point. That's actually nuts. Vitality, minion health. I'm actually not very impressed here. Yeah? Some of these passives, it's all of me and stuff. A revenant. Mm hmm. God, this, all this Acolyte tree is awful, man. What the fuck? So I guess it's gonna go 8 points here. 8 points here. And like... Nah, yeah, okay, I mean, this is kinda nice, but it's like past 20, right? This is... Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is 15. Then we can... Wait. 5, 10, 15. Okay, so you wanna, you wanna max out this, I guess. So we do 8 points, 7 points, and, I don't know, 8, 6, 1, 5, I guess. Let's go. Okay. Two damn weeks of trying to cook up a good multi-shot build, damn near impossible. <laughs> yeah, I also made like a multi-shot like marksman. Some months ago, and played with Nini and McFluffin. And it felt relatively weak. You know? Somehow, I read that I take less damage when I wear the boot. Do more damage. But, but, but it was the opposite. But, and you never told me. But, but you wanted to take them off. Why did you want to take them off? Because I saw the others had more speed. <laughs> and you never told me! Yeah, but Chad enjoyed uh, it. I almost died. Yeah, and Chad was saying that you were mean. I was So that's no. what they meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. You like watching me suffer? <laughs> you, well, you, revenge, you did huh? very well. You showed off your prowess <laughs> with the acolyte. <laughs> with the cursed boots. Yes. Uh, You will see. Everything okay? What? What is that? Are you hit? Stay safe. Stay alive. Most people play marks and have two swords. Well, it's like this uh, detonating arrow thing, right? That people are doing. Nice marksman, yes. Okay, what do you got here? 
I love Goldstone. Well, nothing there. How much spell damage is this? Four spell damage. Minus three spell mana cost. Okay. What else is there? Harvest melee attack that hits all enemies. I think I used this on my Lich with the Reaper form and stuff. That was kind of fun. Death Seal, Reaper form. Yeah, that was, that was a cool build actually. I think it was just Harvest. But, okay, what do we get for Warlock? We get Chaos Bolts, sounds kind of fun. Channel to raise a continuous jet of horror flames in front of you. I heard about Ghost Flame, but doesn't it make move or something? Is there like some node? Ah, here. Move speed while channeling, plus 20%. So it has a cooldown and is a channeling skill. That's an interesting combination. I don't think I've ever seen a channeling skill that has a cooldown in any game. Man, I can love fucking movement speed now, what the fuck? 20%, 30%? Okay, so I guess he might have to go for this, just to go fast. And we get us 15 points in Warlock, so this will be like near the end of the campaign, I guess. Okay. These are my souls of cursed enemies, dealing necrotic damage to them. Honestly, I think I want to play Chaos Bolts. Of him well, I can see that he dodged every hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's also way later. It's gonna be like level 20 or something. And it's like level 30. So I have to figure something else out until then. You get Transplant soon, and also Acrylite Tree is here, right? You get a Golem. Maybe go with the golem and the mascaris for the start. Marriage has cost nine percent of my current health. Mm-hmm. Put Kephonic and Spirit Plague, then burst them. Okay, what is Spirit Plague? Right on here. A powerful necrotic spell. It's a single target, okay. I will see. Yo, 555, five, five. thank you, man. We set us up. 23 months. Snarling marks on yesterday, level 70 now, flurry, and multi, hail of arrows. Sounds like a lot of skills. <laughs> Can you like, trigger some of these skills or something? Like, three different attack skills? I was wondering, what is that called? Wandering Spirits. Actually, it doesn't seem that bad here in these big rooms. You just walk around, stuff dies around you. Let's see when we can get our first ward proc. There are many ways to spread the 
soul feast. Oh, spirit flag. Okay. <laughs> Wonder morning spirit spirit instant cast sounds kinda nutty actually. That's the thing. Doesn't really seem to like too bad to cast it. It's a pretty fast cast. It's just a very long cooldown. It's a bigger problem here, I think. Thirteen seconds cooldown. It lasts six, so there's like no way to make it permanent really. Maybe on a tree. Bold note, the burn fixed. It crashes the game, really. Directly casting chaos was extends the duration for active Kephonic Fishes in Infernal Shades. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of sucks if that crashes you. Okay, what do we do with our second thing here? Causes physical damage when hit. The damage is tripled if you inflict that damage the hit yourself. Thirteen damage. Can get twelve percent color. Chill. Mm-hmm. Bone curse aura. Mine. Fifteen sec fifteen mana drain, okay. Yikes. My craft is pretty nice, minus, minus 25 res. And doesn't even get a reduction on bosses or something. I think I was using Bone Curse as well on my Lich. I remember the skill. I think I take this and go for the mark for death thing. Need four points in the area. Not sure, I guess. Let's put us on the bar, so. Oh, it's pretty big. How many units can we have? Three. No goners today. I mean, the week just started, there's no rush. But by the way, they finally announced the uh, leaderboard competition, so next week and the week after that, all the rank 1s will get uh, some prize. So next week matters, I guess, this week not very much, but I might try to like go for rank 1 anyway. But not today. Maybe in a weekend or something. I don't want to blast gauntlet like, you know. <laughs> 
30 hours every week or something, so... Long as the bone cars. Eight seconds. It's kind of strange, man, how long it takes for you to get a uh, moving skill combat the Rogue. Rogue already have like shift from like level 5 or something, and he has level 9. Meanwhile, the four necros. Crickets. Okay. Okay, we're definitely showing white items are way too long, I feel. Spell damage, spell damage, and mana cost. Okay, there's actually another mod as well. It's kind of big, actually. Minus mana cost. Hybrid, okay, I'm gonna see this just out of curiosity if I upgrade this spell damage. So it's 23 to 37 spell damage, and this is 11 to 20. Okay, it's quite a lot less. But it's one handed, right? Mana, elemental damage, chill attackers. Dude, chill attackers. What? Oh, easy, I guess. Shadow Daggers Blade Dancer has been the most fun. Yeah, Shadow Daggers is really fun. I think at some point I also need to go and finish my original, my first character ever. It's a Blade Dancer as well with uh, Shadow Cascade. Need to finish that one. It's on one. Oh, when can we respec? Can we respec here very quick? Let's do it. Ah, oh, just in time. <laughs> Is Warlock getting any fun? I think so. A lot of people are playing it. How many of these shards do we have? A lot. Okay, it's very common. Let's see if we can do something with this thing. Uh, what do we like? So maybe some ints. Ints is always good. Also, filters aren't working. Okay. What? Okay. Dude, how did that happen? Amazing. Ah, this thing not all ends. What? <laughs> we made it to level 11 rare. Unlucky. What can we get here? Crits, I guess. It's gonna go for crit and maybe pen as well. No, well. Made it for some drops. Hello, Pyrogenesis. Do you have any void dress? You have zero, but you have 43 necrotic dress apparently. Twelve hours per day stream streak for like eleven days in a row, like a month back. 
I mean, like 12 hours per day is nothing really special. The streamer, I guess. Shout out for Rex. Oh yeah, right, I need to watch the video. So, like, apparently there's like other people as well, right? I'd like to see his reaction. Actually, I would like to see his reaction to the video. I didn't really know the full result. Like, I just know that, you know, a bunch of people were asked to talk about it and stuff, so... Rex celebrates his uh, five-year anniversary today. Of being a full-time blaster. Hi, Corgan. <laughs> Hello, Dini. Yes. That's an acolyte I'm doing, yeah? We're going for our warlock here. No idea what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. Wandering Spirit seems pretty strong. Maybe I should have messed into that. That could be a nice nice thing here. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna like YOLO unspec this uh rip blood thing. It's kind of everything with wandering dip spirits. Fuck it. Uh, let's do this. We also have transplant now, so... Do we get rid of the minions? Oh wait, we actually have an extra skill. Let's do this. So what can I do here? Cool and recovery speed, that sounds good. Necrotic resistant shred. Spirits in more damage and are targeted. That seems kind of powerful for bosses. Spirit movement speed. That seems very good here. 75%. Hmm, plus 5 seconds duration, but plus, plus 5 seconds cooldown. Which is probably a decent trade. So this means it's 30 seconds duration with 80 seconds cooldown, so it's much easier to get a perma. Oh. Seems kind of strong, depending on how big the range is. If there's only one target, they're all gonna poison the same guy. I think I'm gonna try this. Mm hmm. I'm gonna try this stuff actually. There's a lot of really powerful notes. Like a level 43. <laughs> that was fun, Nini. No? 
And he lived. Stream master nerfed. Yeah, I thought I wanted to do some nerfs, but I'm not sure what exactly they did it. You have to pass on somewhere? No, you weren't, Nini. You showed everyone how much of a badass you are. <laughs> I'm trying Hungry Spirit builds after the buff. Uh, I have no idea what the buffs are, actually. Hungry Spirits mean Hungry Souls? Wandering Spirits? What are we talking about? I wonder if I can like transplant over there. Doesn't work. No. What about here? It also doesn't work. So it seems like exactly like shift. So you can't teleport over like fences and stuff. Golem. Ah, we have golems now. Yeah, I wanted to take the golem anyway. Let's do it. Okay, what do these blood orbs do exactly? I send two tips. Stores 10 health and reaches you. A whole 10 health on Blood Orb. That's crazy. Okay, why is this thing not showing? This doesn't have two good stats, I guess. I need to like turn off the loop for a little bit and see if I actually did this right. Like one of them costs sixty mana to summon. Okay. Can we do anything else like an active ability? Which is a chance to return with bone shatter when hits. Okay. I'm not sure what they did with Fisher. I know they, they nerfed some ward stuff from Prof and Whale. You need bleeding harsh if I'm Angel Winter or Normal or Empowered. Uh, you should never farm anything in a normal monolith. Always Empowered. There's no reason to stay in normal monoliths unless they're like extremely weak. Gonna traverse is a nightmare stuck in place half the time. Yeah, what you have to do is uh, you have to make sure that you don't cast it as the first thing when you enter the zone, then you don't get stuck. Ah, oh, here's something, here's something. Let's do this. It's 
kind of crazy how much like flat ammo you can get there. Yeah, I'm not doing story, story skip right now. I'm just gonna play for this. Like, I don't have a build or anything, I don't wanna like fast forward progression. <laughs> so, I'm gonna like learn. Is Omnis the best unique? Ah, oh, it's a good item. The best is kind of debatable. It's also like Omega Rare to be actually good. Nah, we're going freestyle. Like, I don't know very much about Acolyte, so I'm gonna try the class and experiment a bit. I only played like a Lich like two years ago or something with free perform. So once. <laughs> On melee hit, huh? Wait, can you wait you can attack in melee with a wand in this game? Ignite, chill, shock, bleed, slow, poison, and blind. Okay. Harvest. Yeah, I guess I can harvest. Always go down here to the right. It's always wrong. Every time. These guys are the freezes are kinda scary. Man, so many uniques. Second one already. Humming bee. <laughs> Let's go. Can we proc that thing? Let's see. Can we get some bees online? How does it proc? Oh, there's no bees. Okay, it's called Humming Bee. Guess it is. Spirits have a chance to cast Spectral Perture Sense. Let's see how we go. 30% chance per second per spirit. And you have 17 spirits, they last 4 seconds each. So, this is how many seconds of spirits? That's 21. For four seconds. So like around eighty seconds uptime. So we should get like up to twenty or so poison casts. Sounds kinda of strong actually. Not here. It actually it goes fairly far as well.
Six, seven stacks of poison? Okay, okay. I kinda like it. All dying at the same time. <laughs> it's a veteran RPG fan. This game is so much fun. Yeah, for sure. Like if you've played RPGs before, you can get into this like very easily. Oh, I actually missed this one. Fire us. I guess it's Hades for a while. So have no void rest and no physical rest, the two most important ones. Beautiful. This is an account found, not a character found. I just don't want to use Stack Twinkie, really. The Ladle and the Chronicle are... And we have the Ladle. But, I mean, what are we going to do with this? Yeah, we can do Harvest. That's the only thing, really. I'm going to get three different dot elements, right? On average, one per attack. Ignite, bleed, and poison. Shock doesn't actually do damage, right? Stun chance and lightning. Okay. It's a wrong ladle. Ah, okay. Then what is the other one? <laughs> Why do you have a spoon? <laughs> That's just what I found, man. Nah, not all the elements do some damage. Ignite, bleed, and poison deal damage, and the others don't. And there's also like... Some void... I think it's called Time Rot, that does some damage. And I think Damned also does some. But they're kind of like more special. Because they're only accessible through certain effects. Yeah, somebody need to look into my Lich. I have like a Lich free perform and harvest and stuff. It's kind of fun. Spirit's got a big buff. Alright, did someone link the patch notes by the way? Can someone, uh, can someone link them right now? I think we have no link here, right? I would like to see them. I thought they only did like the, the bug fixes and stuff, but apparently there's more. Oh, we could actually also make a clip for the Beastmaster, right? Beastmaster's dead as well. You still have the uh, bug and a rip there. That one is a bit old now. Okay, let's check it out. Hello, travelers. Campaign. Okay, 
Change cloud gathered to only apply to vicious smoke bomb one time. Okay, so the infinite smoke bombs are gone. One experience now is very small for spirit reveal frequency. Oh, they're buffing, they, they buff the spirits that I just they're using. Nice. Okay. How do you other use this cost of stash tabs? So he had a fixable fan veil board thing. Fix the bug where items influenced by the rank 8 passive from Circle of Fortune would not have the Circle of Fortune stacks, but it still has a cannot be trade attack. Dude, I was actually really surprised. Like, I was trying to do like Rune of Ascendance to try to get like, you know, Talents of Valor and stuff. And all these exalted items were dropping and they had never had attack. And I was so surprised because like, I don't know, when you're like rank, Circle of Fortune rank 8 and you should get like, I don't know, 80% of your exalted are probably like, Circle of Fortune requirement. But they never had. It was just it just never happened. I had to do prophecies to get the Circle of Fortune thing, so you can use the Rune of Ascendance for the refund. So it's actually a bug. <laughs> okay, good to know. Okay, I can also fix a two-handed thing. There was a bug where I can like, equip a two-handed weapon and an offhand together by doing some weird shenanigans in the forge. I wonder how long the bug was in the game, because it just now came up, really. So many bug fixes on Acolyte, actually. Upcoming changes. Okay. Oh, good stuff. Kephonic Fisher, six orders bugged with it, exactly? Ah, oh, wait, are we in the next tree? Almost. Oh, do we go for this now? Yeah, even without ward right now, right? Let's take this. Let's go. <laughs> GG level 13 and still alive. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, Rafflot. Well, they didn't say anything about the Raffle getting stuck and stuff, right? There's like some bugs as well where the guy just doesn't really do anything. But at least it doesn't eat other people's minions anymore, so there's that. I guess the main bug though is the uh, one where it gets stuck all the time. Or runs off or something. Lose minion traversal. Yeah, that's what I heard, that's, that's the solution. That's kind of a shitty one because you know it's not that easy to get exactly that mod on your boots and stuff.
kind of miss my campaign speedruns of Puncture Man. I want to try to make like a full Puncture build as well on Rogue. See if we can actually make that happen with like many the bleed stuff or something else. It'll be fun. Playing a bit like a penetrating shot on D4. That'd be pretty cool, I think. So cool to win as uh, this puncture. But it's a melee weapon, right? Marksman? Puncture marksman? Yeah, maybe. I haven't done much with marksman. What build I'm going for? I don't know yet. Probably something with chaos balls. That sounds kind of cool. Or maybe I'm gonna do something with this wandering spirits and just like try to fully invest in them. I guess wandering spirits as a AME clear skill could work. Just like press it and run. <laughs> sounds kind of nuts actually. If that works. But it, I kind of fear it's not gonna be strong enough later. Forge card, single target, that's crazy. I didn't hear good things about Forge card, but built on Forge card is good. I think there should be a leaderboard in an E. Yeah, it would be nice to have like, at least like a level ladder for a season launch. Officially, that would be nice. We have the arena stuff, but that's not really great. I mean, outside of that, I mean, there's not really that much in the game right now that it could really make leaderboards about. But at least the ladder for his launch will be cool. Especially because they actually have, like, a account found and a character found in the game and stuff. Officially. Ugh. Plus turn's not great at all. This takes a while here. Even if the one on is shooting. End of time. Yeah, my blood seems kind of weak, to be honest, and I don't have the like, uh, skill points invested in it right now. Maybe we're gonna change something. Maybe get some health vision or something, and then try these marrow shards. I have to mark for death now, though. I actually forgot to put this point in there. Yeah, look, I agree with that. Skill combos are definitely fun. I made a video talking about my future plans and stuff, if that's what you mean, maybe? Monate. I mean, I'm definitely planning to do a lot of D4 still. But then also mostly PoE. 
So I expect great things from PoE2. And I hope to do great things in PoE2. Okay, 5% more damage per curse on target and 35 fire and necrotic rest. Seems like you just get necrotic rest out of your ass in this class, right? <laughs> like, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be capped on, on necrotic, right? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, what do you gain? Kephonic okay, Fisher. So we did that. 42 mana. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're gonna get 20 necrotic rest here, 40 necrotic rest, 60 necrotic rest just on those points, and then another 35. It's gonna be necrotic capped without any vitality. <laughs> it's insane. That's a bunch of poison. If only it was a helm that gave you ward per undercapped necrotic rest. Ah, so maybe you want to stack even more necrotic. <laughs> Armor index. Okay, sounds interesting. Let me see that helm. There's actually kind of an interesting view here. If you don't know the items by heart, I can. Just see everything here. This one. No. That's the first one actually. Bone Claimer. L65 Helm. Armor, Dex, in Necronic Rest. One ward per second per three with an uncut Necronic Rest. Okay, so let's say we have like 300 rest, that's 100 watt per second. Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. But that is actually already quite an investment. But yeah, just this helm. Maybe with like 2 LP. Could be okay. 1 LP would maybe be okay already. Has a lot of armor. And a good bunch of wins. Yeah, I think 1 LP would be nice. And Boiler is like crazy abusing that mod privilege, yeah. Okay, so what does this thing do? It says curse. Opens infernal fish on the ground, dealing fire damage over time. So as we've seen spirits and a fish that seek nearby enemies. These spirits and fake torment then it's a torment that can cause that slows and needs aquatic damage. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna try this right now. How does it look? It looks pretty cool. You have 1100 necrotic res on your How the hell do you get 1100 res? What? 1100? Would PoE2 be in console? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> you look for thank you, man. Let's see how good this Kephonic Fisher is. Maybe it's gonna like drop the red blood and just like... I guess a mana region. Might work. Dude, I have 19 necrotographs, by the way. Level 14. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm not worried about Act 4 and Act 5. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see this. Ah, uh, it's not bad. It actually shoots out, like... Releasing spirits on official that seek never enemies. Okay. I 
It also ignites, apparently. So how does it compare? It's the one on spirits. Any woos, guys? Dude, the level hunt necrograss is nuts, though. Even if you have necrograss on every item, I mean, how many items is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 with shields. Yeah, I feel like all of them have necrograss. Even with like exalted mods, I guess, let's say like 60 res on average per item. Okay, you can get like five, 600 from those. Last second on like 100 or so from this stuff. But how do you get the 1100? Uh, 1100 is insane. Not many emotes here, first Batman. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't have my transmit on the bar <laughs> because I wanted to try out this iconic like, fisher, and they just got got me stuck here. <laughs> Guess first again. Yeah, let's put. Uh... No, actually, yeah, let's try this iconic fisher. I'm gonna try this a bit more, but I'm gonna move to red blood. So let's put this on right click. Put a transplant back. Yeah, not having move skill kind of sucks. So, that was not really the plan, I just wanted to see the skill. Frequency and range. Damage to poison enemies. Spirit move speeds. Spirit damage. Yeah, I mean, this is for single target mostly, right? Can also do this. And you have that longer duration there and the size. Okay. Should probably uh, rush this, yeah. It's kind of nice. So this is like one, two, three, and then we can get those points here. Okay, so where do we go? Which is great, it's also visually enjoyable. I mean, maybe I'll back into it. When do we get an next specialization? 13 or something? 18? 20, okay. Cost a lot of mana though, so I have to make that work somehow. Maybe we're gonna do this instead of uh, the bone curse. I can try. Here's more damage. This effect is doubled if you are cursed. Funny. It's pretty broken. What the fuck? can spread your ignite stacks. Does it like bounce back and forth and just like kind of scans up your ignite stacks? Ah, it costs less mana. Refund some of the mana cost if there's a cursed player, rare or also in 20 meters when he casts it. Mm hmm. I really want me to use curses for this. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Huh? Kephonic Passage. 
That's fun. Oh, I can find one fisher. Ah, oh, these spawns. Okay. So you can have three, but then it's like a lower frequency. You don't have the mana for that yet, I guess. Endurance thresholds. Down this is the correct damage over time. Ooh. Torment does more damage for two with an uncapped necrotic resistance. Okay. I mean, most of the damage is from the torment, right? the hell? This thing's nuts. Okay, necrotic rest. And fire rest. Yeah, there's some pretty interesting stuff here. I'm gonna try to go for this uh, Necroid stuff. Which we can't really make that much use of in the campaign yet, but I guess. We already have. Maybe you can, you can put three points in this as well. What? So you get 3% damage per 2% res. That seems nuts. I have 90 res already. No side spirit gale doesn't work. What's the spirit gale? Yeah, this doesn't work. You have a chance to release a spirit to inflict and torment other enemies. Yeah, that's not a bad, I guess. My transplant goes very far. How, what is the range on this thing? So it goes to the entire screen. It's nuts. Yeah, over 1000 Necroticus is insane in Santiago. No matter what. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice uh, such a thing. But yeah, uh, Necro rest stacking definitely seems like a real viable strat. Damn, that's 12k damage per day of 60 stacks. That seems pretty good.
Okay, what's going to hide? This thing. And... Twisted waves. Yeah, those two things, yeah, with the red necromorphs. Yeah, it seems, seems very powerful. So you can get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. And then you can do necromorphs shred. Probably like all three points, honestly. Just to stack it faster. Let's say two, whatever. So it's 10 points. Then can do the spirit frequency, I guess. So it's 15 points. And I guess you can do the secondary fissure. I'm not sure about this chaos bolt stuff. I wanted to try something with chaos bolts, maybe. There's also more stuff here, like damage. Can leech a portion of the damage it does. I wonder if that also counts for the spirits. Or just for the fire damage over time. Fissure direct damage bonus. I mean... The thing is that nothing says that it does direct damage, like hits, right? It doesn't scale if, if hit damage, or like crits or something. It's all like damage over time. The, the ground does fire damage over time. Spirits come out. I guess the spirits might actually hit. And do crits, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the Chaos Bolts tree beforehand. Yeah, when we're there, we're not there yet. But you can actually you can get it soon. Okay. All 20 or so. So let's do this. We can actually start specking in Warlock. So what do you have here? Life. More damage over time to curse. Okay. Applies to minions. Gain a chance per curse on the enemy to gain mana on hit. With 3 seconds cooldown. 13 mana. Wait, what? Effect cooldown, fee press point. I don't really get this when I miss points, but I can try what happens. Okay, how long is the cooldown on this? Five seconds. I think one of the farm rings at. Yeah, you can farm any item type in the game with a specific monolith. You can just check when you open it. Like where you select empowered or non-empowered, and that tells you what are the extra drops in that monolith. Yeah, you can have only one fissure. Unless you take the, the secondary fissure thing, I guess, or there's like a node where you can have plus two extra fissures. So that was my level right now, 15. This game a bit unleveled. So let's see what happens when we put another point there.
This guy hurts. Oh, voilà. Nothing hurts there. Primaris is not alive now. We don't have the Primaris. Although I didn't do an arena push. Maybe I'm gonna go and log in and then do an arena push at some point just to see like how it feels doing arena on a melee class. I'll probably not go very far anyway, so it won't take that long. I think gonna do like 300 waves or so would be kinda nice, I guess. I'm gonna go bleed or torment. I have no idea. I kind of intrigued by chaos boards to be up here. I'm sure that. Why so many people push Karasha in Reign of Ca Dragons? Uh, I mean, it just seems to have like easy mods and monsters and easy bosses as well. That's why I did it at least on a Falconer, because it didn't really care about any loot from the bosses or something. And yeah, also like I was kind of... I was kind of like naturally stuck in that timeline as well because of Great Avoidance Blessing that I had to grind. Wait, what? Event? Effect cooldown 6 seconds? The fuck? I don't understand this passive. What does it do? <laughs> okay, I have 8% mana region. And then I have effect cooldown 6 seconds, but it's only a 5 point bonus. And the cooldown increases the more points I put. What? What the fuck is this? The effect cooldown is just a typo. So just mana region and then 5 point bonus. Chinese import game. Okay. Well, what do we want to take here? I guess it's not terrible if it's a 4% extra point, but it's a 20 flat health basically, and no. Nah. What's this? Dude, everything has like a 5 point bonus here on this tree. That's the difference between Warlock and. Watch God, I guess. Bleed overload. It doesn't tell us what bleed overload are ah, here. Get sufficient amount of physical damage over time to bosses and moving enemies. Kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what, what I will do exactly with the Warlock. I was trying to figure it out. Maybe we're gonna stick with this Kephonic Fisher, or we're gonna do Chaos Bolts. I'm gonna unlock Chaos Bolts soon once I have a few more points here, and then we'll try it out and see, I guess. Uh, well. Let's see. Should we go for the cooldown recovery speed as well? Maybe more than this, to be fair. That's only two points worth of poison stuff because I have to put three here anyway. So let's do this, 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 okay. I'm gonna join us next PoE, like. Yeah, I'm planning to play some PoE. Some last week before PoE 2. So, yeah, why not? But yeah, we have to see the timing and stuff. PDR is coming as well. PoE really should be end of the month, right? So in like two, three weeks. Maybe I'll jump back in a little bit to warm up. Like I have my, what is it, like a little 94 or something, that I in Affliction. Actually, this guy's melting, I just realized. Damn. And it's a single target. Not terrible. There's a giant hulking thing following me. <laughs> and PDR should be in around two weeks, I think. I guess we're gonna hear about it next week or oh, this week. Well, this week is maybe late now. Okay, is there a... Okay, Ignite chance of fire skills and damn chance of necrotic skills. So I guess we're gonna get both, right? Because it's, it's both. It's fire and necrotic. So I guess we get... Does this work with the Kephonic Fisher? That would be kind of nice, actually. I'm gonna try this. So that's Torment, there's the extra damage. Wait, did they give us a date for the campfire? I don't remember right now if I already have the date. It's been five to seven years since you last played PoE. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. What's going on here? Should I talk to this guy? the day this week and then first day okay i think they're usually on first day so yeah i guess on first day next week so it's eight days and then probably the following week will be the i don't know what will they i'm doing doing yet cast bolts maybe or fisher I mean, I don't feel <laughs> great here. <laughs> Nine life, by the way. Oof. Okay, I need to check my res. I think I have zero physical res. These guys are fucking blasting me, man. Look at that shit. I just walk in there with no health pod. Also, I ran out with like no health pod, man. 
Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm gonna use the golem. Wait, did I not summon a golem? Yeah, sometimes the golem dies, I think. Okay, let's try this again. I thought minions are good in this game, man, but Golem apparently just dies. Unlucky. Call on Gazi. He needs to fix those minions. Yeah, it's definitely like a completely different playstyle, I need to get used to this. Damage is high though. Can I get a health potion? Okay. Wait, how long is the fish at last? Do I still no two tips by the way when I mouse over my skill bar? Is that normal? Like I feel like I'm missing a screw tip two tips here. Like nothing shows two tips, no names, nothing. What the fuck? Wait, how long is the last? This song is mega hit okay rumble. Looks like six seconds. No. Das ist doch Müll. Ja, online hat manchmal Probleme. What if I go and destroy the... Wait, can I do that? Can I just go destroy these things before talking to him? Let's see. Well, maybe this is not active. Oh, they're here. Wait. I can't target them. Interesting. Okay. I just want to go to this uh, Umbral Blades with Shadow Daggers yet. Just like throw one dagger and move on. Nice beetle. Dude, I keep clicking right in between the shards instead of on them. Like this one pixel width between the shards, two tips.
I didn't actually check if I get these um, ignite stacks and stuff. Uh, yes, this here, we guess bigger, yeah? This is kind of nice, for sure. 80% extra mana, though. We also have to get 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 5 points. So this will take a while until we get there. Which is fine, we don't have any mana for it now. How's the economy trade now in LA? Is it going to get any better? What do you mean any better? I mean, version skill in general is pretty OP if you play it on softcore. On hardcore, not a good idea. I do have to revive my golem every single time I go out of town. Or she just dead. Nasa as a living is useful for a lot of builds, yeah. It's like one of the key ingredients. Next angerness, last steps, and the experimental glove. Also the free ward items for low life. Song as Aurax Crash. I'm going to have to ignite stuff actually works. Okay, what if I just shoot here? Let's see if this guy's got any ignite stack. Okay, this guy got an ignite stack. So I think it does work, right? We don't have any ignite. Oh, we have 35 cent there. Okay, what if I remove this? This guy has zero ignite. Hmm, maybe it doesn't work. I'm talking about this here. Damn chance of necrotic skills. Ignite chance of fire skills. He's an invisible dude. Okay, so maybe the ignite works for the ground dot, but it does not work for uh, the shots, and the shots give the damn instead. How much, um. Plus two damn stacks per hit. So it's always like a round number or like an even number. So it seems like sometimes I get like three, for example. 
So I think that's fine. Yeah, I was just wondering how the passive works. So you don't just get ignited because it's like a fire and a codex spell. It's only the fire part of it, I guess, like the ground dot. That triggers it. But you're probably not going to try too much with ignite anyway. Oh yeah, my weapon. <laughs> Oops. And no weapon run wouldn't be so bad as, as a caster anyway, right? I mean, you do rely on the weapon a bit, but I think it's not as bad as on the other classes. Okay, what do we do now? We don't have... Oh, we do have Chaos Bolt now. So let's see if we can do that. Boom. Maybe we can also miss in the golem and make him some support some thing or so, or some tank. Barrage of Kratic Projectiles. So how, first of all, how does this thing look? I have never even seen that skill. Oh yeah, I like that. Car speed is kind of slow though. Nice, okay. Fire call conversion, ignite becomes frostbite. Mm hmm. Wait, where's the damage or tank coming from? I guess from like Ignite and Damned and stuff. Per missing health. Per 20 missing health. So you actually want to play like a low life build of this, I guess? Oh. So apparently the burn doesn't work. Yeah, this, this seems pretty powerful, you know? Let's say you have, like, 2,000 life, you get 100% extra damage. It's kind of nice. Interesting stuff.
One big bolt. Kind of interesting as well. I guess I can shotgun with chaos bolts, though, right? Chaos bolts have a chance per hit per dexterity to cause you to attack a flowers from the location of enemies hit. So it can occur a maximum of three times per second. Okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to go for here. This could be anything. Cast speed is also not bad. The destructive intensity. I mean, you get all of base crit there. All of a sudden, base crit per stack. This seems nuts, actually. Like, if it casts, like, you know, five times or something, you have, like, 100% crit, basically. It's kind of cool. I think my total damn chance. This is a bleed here. Yeah. Okay, I was both hit against cursed enemies, cast bone curse at location. Mm hmm. Let's just try this. I moved the curse for this, right? Let's see how good this is. Any seconds of play? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm a bit tired, though, to be honest. I don't think I'm gonna stream very long tonight, I guess. I've been up for a very long time. I have a pretty early schedule currently. These chaos bolts actually feel pretty decent. And they do pretty big dots. Okay. So maybe we're gonna go with that for now. Let's just take out these dots until later we can go crit. So that could be the way, maybe. Okay, the bigger targets don't die very fast, though. I was here now. Did it leaks, did it the leaks 44? Is it true they're implementing some mercenaries soon? Yeah, I mean, these leaks were like really old already, and I don't know if this is true or not. I'm definitely not in the mood for mercenaries at all, but yeah, so be it, I guess. Yo, Koshi, thanks for what's up. Dude, I feel like really squishy on this class. So it's just me. How good is Warlock? Very good, actually. It's like one of the meta classes with like a bunch of builds. You need Ward. Yeah. No shit, man. At level 20. What Ward? Just get what, yeah. You can summon the golem and then you place the skill bar. Okay, that sounds really clunky though. Not really planning to do that. Actually, where's my golem? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Amazing. Okay, get a lot of... A lot of down stacks. And Chaos Bolts actually doesn't cost you that much.
Spell damage for curses. There's a mana for point of intelligence. Nah. Bone shards. Maybe marrow shards? Yeah, it definitely sounds interesting as well. It reminds a bit of Corpse Lands from the three. Maybe this was the inspiration there. But yeah, survivability wise, I don't feel comfortable at all, man. Look at this shit. What the hell? Why am I so fucking squishy? I think the Archive and Gear, I haven't even changed it. We have 10 physical rests. There's a the loot. I think I felt it's a bit too strict. I'm like, not picking up anything. Let's duplicate this. Let's say one, two, twenty-five. I want to see at least two stats. Yeah. Maybe this was a bit too strict there. Unique. Catalyst. <laughs> dude, what? 1 LP? Cold as a blast thing. What the hell, dude? I love C already. It doesn't have a level. Wait, this thing has no level requirements. Fuck. And you can even use this on other skills, right? Increased area for cold skills. For cold area skills and stuff like that. It doesn't have. It's not a rogue specific, specific one, actually. It's kind of nuts. I have Chaos Ball, actually. Yeah, I'm using it. Poor LP Vile. Let's go. Yeah, anything that does cold damage, I guess. You can probably try to use it. Play Dancer or Marksman with Jellicos. Yeah, I mean, Marksman with Jellicos is pretty busted from what I've seen. At least damage wise. I think I'm sticking up so many dots and stuff, and guy lives quite long anyway.
Uh, respecting all your skills is not too bad. It couldn't be worse. I just read that. Like, so basically, when you respec, you, you go back to where you were pretty fast because you get like a catch up. And later on, when you're like in Power Monolith, like level 80, 90, or whatever, you basically do like one echo and you have all your skills leveled up again. Like, it goes really fast. I guess we can do ignite and this, yeah. And this, hit the mission down, hit the mission, okay. This could be kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you want to try to spec some, like, some endgame build, and that endgame build requires certain items, and you don't have those items, then you have a problem. But, yeah, if you, if it's, like, you know, in terms of, like, respecking your skills and stuff, there's not really a huge problem. You can respect after an XP echo. Oh, that's a good tip actually, true. The tombs also give you XP and it's like boom 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 and they're done basically. I'm not sure if we're gonna go bleed or torment or something on this. I don't know exactly what these builds look like. I guess I have a rough idea, but We'll see. I mean, it's just too short a ram with two cast board casts. That was a kind of squishy one, I think. I think there's boss fight here. What? Infernal shade. What the hell is an infernal shade? Is that another skill? Ah, here. Seems very powerful actually. 60% frequency. Which you can probably stack up really fast actually. Yeah, I didn't realize it has a. <laughs> it is a different skill. I was like looking for this thing. I was like, huh, where is that coming from? Yeah, I don't, I don't know all these like skill names and stuff on the Acolyte yet. You don't have to go down to the platform below. Yeah, I realized that when I walked down. That's kind of funny how far I can teleport in this class here. Look at this. Pew. <laughs> Is there just no max range on a teleport or something? That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, Josh, good luck. I'm about to go myself, though, soon. It's kind of late, I'm tired. Well, it's actually not really late for my typical streaming times, but I'm quite tired. I was thinking about playing some of Dwarven Realms actually as well, maybe.
I wonder if it's intended that they can just like teleport infinite range on Acrolytes. Like, it seems kind of crazy. Like, what if they're playing widescreen? Just teleport further. All the time. <laughs> you sack. I'm gonna continue more tomorrow though. I'm gonna do this boss. And then Cardiac Rest is kicking in. Pretty good. And I'm just low though, I'm seeing what I'm talking about now. I also need to get a curse in there somehow. Maybe I should not play with these wandering spirits anymore. Same with Primalus jump. Yeah, I guess Primalus also has the same problem. It just goes to where we can click. But at least Primalus jump has like a travel time. Which is, well, usually faster than running, but here it's just like boom, instant. Okay, guys. Uh, short scene today. I'm gonna go, though. We're gonna be here earlier tomorrow, though. I'm, I'm gonna go sleep soon. I was going to go a bit longer. Yeah, well, it's right, Riker today. Why no Lich? No one? Yeah, I have a Lich, actually. I'm gonna continue that one at some point as well. Level 70 Lich. But I made that one like a long time ago, so yeah, that's definitely something I want to try to keep going. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and see you guys tomorrow.